Hello and welcome to Clarkonomics. This video is not the market economy circular flow model. We're going to talk about the mixed economy circular flow model, but first we got to get there. So in a previous video I had talked about the market economy circular flow model uh, in that it had households, firms, product markets, factor markets. And these things interact in all kinds of different ways, right? So there is the monetary flow where the money makes its way around the economy, as you can see here. And in the opposite direction, we have the physical flow. We have things, labor, resources, products, and stuff that make their way through the economy. But the one big thing missing from this model, which is present in a mixed economy, is going to be the government. So government's not in the market economy, but it is in the mixed economy. So first thing the government does, as most people know, they tax us. So some of the money that households have doesn't go to the product market. Some of it the government forces to give to them and we're going to call that taxes. But households are not the only ones that get taxed. Firms also get taxed, so some of their money, instead of going to the factor market, is going to go to the government. So here we have the government taking all this tax money. All right, well, what are they doing with it? Well, first thing, they're buying stuff, right? They're buying products. Uh, so office uh, government office buildings have desks and computers and all these things. They don't make those. They buy them from firms. Now, there is an arrow going from firms branching off to the government called government purchases, right? Things the government's buying from firms. Should the arrow technically be coming out of that part of the model? Uh, probably that's not the best place for it. It should probably be coming out like up here, right? Because governments buy things in the product market, you know, just like households do, but there's just not a great amount of room for an arrow to branch out with the labels. It's messy. Anyway, when we look at households, households send things to the government too besides taxes. For instance, think about a public school teacher, such as myself. My labor, I don't sell in the factor market to a firm, I sell my labor to the government. So anything, land, labor, capital that the government uh, purchases, we call these government-owned factors. So here we have the government taking taxes and taking stuff. It seems like the government is just uh, taking and taking and taking and giving nothing back, which, you know, occasionally it, it feels like that but it's not how it is. The government gives what we call expenditures back to the households. So that can take a few forms. First things first, think about me, a public school teacher. I work at a government school. I sell my labor to the government, but I get a paycheck, right? I get a paycheck for that labor. That counts as expenditures. In addition, the government provides all kinds of services for me, such as military protection, they provide goods for me. They give me roadways to drive my car on. All kinds of stuff. If um, I retire, I'll get Social Security payments from the government, right? These are all kinds of things that count as expenditures that households are the beneficiaries of. Their lives are better because the government gives them these things. Uh, not only that, I send my kids to public school, right? That's something the government spends money on. All right. Now, it's not just there, but going from government to firms, we've also got expenditures. And let's think about why. So firms, they use the same roadways that households do, right? Their tractor trailers all drive on the roads. Do firms benefit from the military protection the government provides? Sure they do. Um, when a, a kid goes to a public school and they develop skills and knowledge and education, do firms benefit from having qualified people to hire? Absolutely. So although households and firms give tax money and give labor and stuff and give, uh, and sorry, um, Although the government, you know, takes taxes from the firms and households and takes factors and takes stuff, products, the government also gives back because in a circular flow, everything has to move to each other apart. It's like the body, right? These, these arrows are kind of like the veins, right? What has to flow through all these things is money with the green arrows and stuff. And you might notice the color of the expenditures arrow. It's kind of like a yellowish green. Well, that's because that arrow kind of includes stuff and money as well. Again, households get paychecks when they sell their labor to the government. And, you know, firms, if the government buys a computer from a computer company, they're going to give that computer company money. They don't just seize it, right? So everything has to flow through in a balance. And that's how a circular flow model works for a mixed economy. Thanks for watching.